What's up guys? Today we'll be discussing GLOBE's response on its unlimited data plan. We know that GLOBE is encountering some heat right now on how they handle the unlimited data plan that they have been selling, okay? So first, you know, I'm going to give you some time to read through the response. This is available on their website. They have a frequently asked questions website and this is the first response from that. I'll probably put the link in the description. So first, let's discuss this is a worldwide phenomenon called the fair use. I don't think it, it's really fair because changing the working definition in fair and what is normal use and how quickly we adapt our rules and prices aren't, aren't that proportionate. On a general note, this response is defensive, reactive, and pointing fingers. It's only a result of an oversell. Let me set your expectations here that this response is a defensive response and never expect a defensive response to be great. You can pause the video to read through the response for Globe. Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds to do that if you'd like to read it. I'll have it up while I'm talking. Uh, first, let's analyze and provide some thought on what's being said here. The first paragraph, it says here, okay, just read through it. On the get-go, this is pointing fingers to the 3%. I don't think this is a very professional response. For one, I don't think telling me something is unlimited than saying it's not fair if I use it unlimitedly. You know, I don't think that's really fair on your part. Who is being fair and who has been lying has been subjective here. I don't think the word unlimited is very unclear though. I mean... If you tell me it's going to be unlimited, I'm going to use it unlimitedly. In reality, nothing is in life is unlimited. If you got sold into that idea, you probably have been fooled. On the second paragraph, it mentions that the people most likely impacted. You know, I don't like the phrasing. Maybe it's just a phrasing. I don't know how they're going to implement it. But how it's phrased is really crucial for me. Um, you can't... You, so it may happen to me that I'm considered one of the heavy users, which in this case, I'll tell you why it's highly likely that I'll, I'll be considered one of the heavy users. When there are supposed to be sanctions, uh, the, the sanctions should be on those who cause the problem, not specifically on the 97%. Um, number one, uh, it says here that peer-to-peer -peer applications to download large files. I don't think it's really nice that you're telling me that these three activities are bad, illegal, or hinting about that these things are something that we shouldn't be doing. Um, information exchange is the primary reason why we have the internet. There's nothing wrong with peer-to-peer -peer applications. And yes, they are used to transfer large files mostly. I feel like this is peer-to-peer uh, -peer is bad, but that's just how I feel and probably what I feel is relevant. Internet is used to exchange the data. Why does it matter how large the data I want to transfer is? Number two, using a phone as a personal hotspot. So I'm going to be honest here. Part of the reason why people use the service is because they look cool having a very generous ISP. I think this will impact Globit's marketing, especially if, if, if that, this is going to happen, if, if they're saying that this is one of the reasons that they would want to stop using it. But they're probably just being honest here. Um, number three, stream videos heavily. Heavy is very subjective video use is trending towards more and not less what is the assurance that when the trend is towards full hd or 8k video that the definition of heavy is increased relative to the company set standards and pricing so what do i mean by that um before people watch using potatoes you know and they create videos using potatoes so that's like 240p and right now 480 i'm I'm not pleased at 480. I'm not able to see the details of what I'm watching at 480. So normally I'd prefer watching at 720 or 1080p. So that's the trend right now. What's it tomorrow or next year? It's going to be probably 4K display. 4K display is going to be the trend. When that happens, are you going to be lowering your prices? I don't think so. That doesn't happen in real life. Users will not want to be most likely impacted. Users will want not to be impacted you know they don't want to be impacted based on what's in and what's not especially when it comes to media these three activities are normal activities and there's a demand that can be supplied here trying to support the first paragraph to point out that the three percent are calling the problem i don't really like the second part of this response the third paragraph on this response sounds like a threat although i don't think it was intended to be phrased that way i suppose it means 
we still want to get money from the users. Um, I don't like selling for something less when I can have it limitedly, but that's just what I suppose, you know, it's not really important. If you have any comments, you know, you can leave in the description below. The fourth paragraph is more of a technical explanation of how that happens, which is necessary in this communication. We still need to talk about if three gigabytes is sufficient for a month. I'll tell you it's not really because how many times does your phone get full memory and you have like eight gigabytes and that's already full. For just music, that's insufficient, I suppose. That's my experience. Three gigabytes, games aren't even that small these days. Fifth paragraph, data capping is a global trend and does not, and that does not mean that the trend is better for the user experience, especially if the cap rates are too small. Like I said, eight gig a game would like easily run eight gigabytes. Uh, more of relevant questions here would be, who was tasked with observing the trends? Uh, was there a role specifically assigned to take care of looking at the trends? What were what were his or her recommendations, if ever this person ever existed or if this role existed? Users are angry because they feel like they have the bait and switch. So like you tell me, okay, this is heaven and heaven and everything good. This is candies and lollipops and rainbows and unicorns. And then I find out it's not. Next is why this is unfair on the user side because they don't have the ability to select data. Number one, when you load a web page, you see ads, you see headers, you see a lot of unnecessary information, color information, website information, some pop-ups, um, security information, location information, consistent pushes from your mail and whatnot, how frequent the pushes happen, and there's no way for users to actually observe or monitor the data real time which I think is very important. From the company side, we want to be profitable to operate. Um, this is a business, it's not charity. I think 1,000 for 34, 34 million users per month is pretty hefty, but 34 million users, probably not all of their users are unlimited users, probably a margin of that. So this is the trend outside. I don't think that the trend um, you know, suffices for what we should be doing now. I think this is an opportunity that we can prove that the Philippines is different in how we handle this. Uh, the government actually has a good response right now. This guy, what's his name? Gam Gamaliel Cordoba uh, noted that the commission has received several complaints on alleged data capping. NTC is now studying if there is a need to promulgate new rules to cover this issue. This comes from NTC Director Edgardo Cabarios. So those are my thoughts. Um, I'd like to know what you think, how you feel. If you are impacted by this, if you are not impacted by this, but please let me know in the comment section below. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and share with your friends. You can use your Gmail account to log into YouTube. To catch up with me, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Also, check out my blog for other stories. Till next time!